Hello vlog. It has been a journey to try and post consistently, but I think I've finally found a method that's gonna work for me. As you can tell by today's video, we're doing a what I eat in a day on my luteal phase. As you could see by my breakfast, what did I have for breakfast? It was a very random breakfast, very realistic. This is gonna be a very realistic what I eat in a day on my luteal phase to show you that cycle syncing is actually easier to do than you think and it's not an unrealistic set of guidelines to follow. So I didn't really have any inspiration for what to eat for breakfast so I essentially ate lunch. So you may or may not be grossed out by having fish in the morning but I don't eat meat and it was a perfect way for me to get my protein in and just get me going for the day. Sometimes you just need to like eat something and get your day started. But it is now lunchtime and I'm having a little plum. Right now is stone fruits time. So if you haven't been eating peaches and plums and nectarines and things like that, now's the time because they're about to go out of season. They're so good right now. The peel is a little sour, but the fruit itself is really good. So today on the agenda, I'm just gonna show you what I'm eating today. I also had a protein shake at the beginning of the day before I worked out because I listened to a podcast and this woman's fitness expert actually said it's better for our hormones if we eat a little snack before we, we work out. And so I work out every single morning. I mean, on the days that I do work out, I work out in the morning and I just had that protein shake as I was walking with my dogs at six o'clock and then did my workout at seven after that walk. I take them for like an hour. And I have to say, since making the adjustment of eating a little bit before working out, it has made such a difference in the quality of my workouts. And I'll show you what I had. I actually got this as PR from this brand, Koya. These are plant-based and they're not that bad in terms of ingredients. When I look at the ingredient list, there's a lot of added vitamins and minerals, a couple gums, but overall not bad at all. And the flavor is really good, this chocolate banana flavor. So I had that in the morning at like around six o'clock, which I know is really early, but I wake up at five. I've been waking up at five recently. I've been waking up at five and then taking my dogs on a walk at six and then had this at six, worked out at seven, then had the breakfast you saw, the weird breakfast you saw. And now I'm having this plum. Back to what I was saying on the agenda for the rest of the day, I have a quick call with my manager and then finishing up some content that I want to post today. After that, I get to work on my bloat guide my bloat reset which i gave you guys a little sneak peek of a month ago i think actually just more admin work so kind of a boring work day to show you today but it's kind of nice to have slower more boring admin day i am getting on this call now i am still quite hungry because i am on my luteal phase and as you may feel my stomach feels like a bottomless pit. So I do need lunch. Oh, I did do something exciting today. Right before this, I did record a podcast episode with Anna Cantwell, who has a podcast called The Quantum Playground. And we talked about my, we talked about cycle syncing, my journey to cycle syncing and hormone health and gut health. And then just like, other wellness stuff so when that comes out i'll definitely post a link to it in my ig stories hi stacy hello hi hi it's going well Good. how about you i thought it would be funny to expose myself a little bit but before i make lunch i'm actually making some oatmeal which it is two o'clock right now so it's clearly not oatmeal time but i really want to post a carousel of like how I structure my mornings and I want to put a picture of oatmeal because I didn't take a picture of my breakfast this morning so I'm making oatmeal literally for the sake of content which isn't that surprising because I post a lot of food but it's just funny because it's 2 p.m. and I'm making oatmeal so literally so much of social media is curated and this is just one example. Like a lot of people, even myself, 
who post food content, maybe they made like a, a salad. Like there's a big possibility that they didn't eat the salad after because it was like 10 o'clock in the morning when they made it. And it's not to say they're not gonna make, they're not gonna eat the salad, but they're probably not gonna eat the salad until like 12. Here's the reality of the situation. I guess I've had kind of a busy day or sometimes I literally get so into whatever I'm doing and in this case it was creating content for a carousel post I want to do that I gloss over the time and I forget to make lunch. So I have this RX bar that I'm going to eat as like a very late lunch because it's already three o'clock and finish running my errands and my mom's coming with me so she's about to get in the car so i'm gonna go to press juice mother's market eat this bar and then for dinner i'll make something more exciting hmm? i'm just talking to the, to the vlog okay we're going to press juice and we're going to mother's market where are you going to buy a mother's market is that okay well, yeah, I mean, like, it's not going to take us more than two hours, right? No. Oh. We just went to Mother's Market, and I did not find what I was looking for. But being that grocery stores are my Disneyland, I did find a few things. So first, my mom got a keto chicken alfredo bowl with chicken, broccoli, alfredo sauce, cheese. We're not leaving yet. No. Well, it's better to put it on. <laughs> Mom, do you want to give it a taste test for the vlog? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, rude. Can you believe that? Anyways, okay, so I saw this strawberries and cream protein shake, and I was like, I need to try this. Rebel seems like a very good brand as well for protein shakes. The ingredients are really good. Again, like a couple gums, but you know what? I want to try it. And then I saw this as well. The same brand that I had their protein shake this morning. This birthday cake flavor, I just, I know, it sounds so bad for you because like real food doesn't taste like birthday cake, but the ingredients really aren't that bad. So I got that. And then the last thing I got were these Plant People Wonder Sleep Mushroom Gummies with Reishi, Saffron, Gaba, Cordialis, and Chamomile. Chamomile? I don't know. And I'm about to run out of my sleep gummies, so I decided I needed new ones. I'm very excited about this. And now I think we're gonna go to the car wash and then press juicery. <sighs> I think it's so rude that she won't even try one bite for the camera to show you guys, but fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, She's happened. getting cleaned, finally. Woohoo! Just went to press juice and I got more protein shakes. I got a vanilla and a chocolate banana. In terms of ingredients, these are the best. Like, in the chocolate banana, it's just water, banana, monk fruit, almond butter, pea protein, cocoa, vanilla, salt, cinnamon. No gums, none of that. And then the vanilla is coconut milk, allulose, which actually I don't know what that is. Pea protein, almond butter, vanilla, oats, inulin, chia, protein powder, cinnamon, sea salt. Interesting. I don't know what allulose is. And then... I got this for free because I had points. Dr. Barbara Sturm Beauty Shot. Hydrating blend of plant forward ingredients to support the body's anti-inflammatory response, collagen production, and healthy skin barrier radiance. And this has pomegranate juice, aloe vera water, pineapple, lemon, vitamin C, biotin. And if you don't know Barbara Sturm, She's like a famous esthetician. She has this really expensive skincare line that all the celebrities use. But I could totally make this at home. Pomegranate juice, aloe vera water, pineapple juice, lemon juice, vitamin C, biotin. Oh my god. I'm going to learn how to make these at home. Tastes like juice. Hmm. 
I like it. The question is how to get vitamin C into it. But I think I can come up with a solution. Finally, let's make dinner. Dinner is served. Garlic, miracle noodles with coconut aminos, bok choy, and dumplings. Sleepy girl mocktail, Gilmore girls. I am one happy girl. This is my glorious dessert plate. So something about me is that I absolutely have a sweet tooth and I cannot resist dessert when I have it at my house. So I have a little bit of chocolate cake a little bit of a pumpkin cookie. Also, this pumpkin cookie recipe is going to be shared on my newsletter and my newsletter only, which is completely free to subscribe to. And I have two versions of this pumpkin cookie I'm sharing. A gluten, dairy, refined sugar version and a refined sugar and dairy free version. And you can make them gluten free both ways. But back to the dessert plate. I try and add a fruit with my dessert plate and that kind of just kills the craving for me. Right, Georgie. Georgie. Momo. Will you 